Today I'm going to finally reveal my job and I know that this is a few months late but hey, better late than never, right? And I am going to come up with uh, what company I'm working for, what is the nature of the industry and why I joined the company as well as how I find working life to be so far. If you don't really know, I started my career life as an insurance agent and then I left to be an IFA. After that, I started a tuition business and then this YouTube channel and website. And in the middle of 2022, I started a job and people have been asking, hey, what's your job? What do you do? Right? So I'm going to answer all these questions in this video. Those who are new to my channel might not actually know that I was an insurance agent right from the start. Right after I left NS, I actually joined an insurance agency and then for about 6 to 12 months, I was there selling insurance plans. Then I realized that the ILPs and the savings plans that I was selling were really no good for my clients. Uh, they weren't good for myself, okay? I bought them myself and I realized that they were pretty crappy even with my commissions uh, given back to me. And I decided to leave to go to an IFA firm where I can actually deliver good and holistic advice to my clients. Now, it turns out clash of interest work both ways. So the thing about commissions is that when you sell something that is good for the agent's pocket, right, the client suffers. And when you sell something that's good for the client, your pocket suffers because your commission is going to be very, very low. Unfortunately, that's the nature of life. When a product has high commissions, it tends to come straight from the client and the client overpays and therefore it is bad for the client. And when a product is good, it's usually because the commissions embedded are pretty low and then it's good for the client, but it's bad for the advisor. And for a few years of my life experience that, I earn like about $1,000 per month for three or four years. And as a working adult in Singapore, that is rather pathetic an amount to take home each month. Drop me a like if you dislike commissions too, or even if you like them. Right, you help out this video and my channel. Thanks for helping. Back then, I was driven by this idealism that I want to do right by my client, offer them the best products available, and I would be rewarded for it. But it never came three, four years in, and I realized that nothing was going to change, and therefore, I started to uh, leave the industry by going over the tuition, and I built a tuition business. And then after that, I started my YouTube channel that you're watching right now, and I talked about my struggles back then. Someone actually forwarded my video to a group chat, and said that my story actually reminded him of this person called Christopher Tan and that is my current boss who saw that video and thought that my video was interesting and he actually reached out and asked me for a drink and he offered me a job which I thought was too interesting and compelling for me to turn down. Long story short, I rejoined the financial advisory industry and before you think that I've sold out and trying to earn commission from you, I have joined Provident, which is the first and probably still the only fee-only firm, which means we don't take commissions. Instead, we charge a fee to our clients and our clients are our sole paymaster when it comes to the financial advice we give them. So before you worry that I'm going to sell you something, this is really not the nature of my job. Uh, I'm not the kind of insurance agent at, by the MRD station say, sir, I'm not trying to sell you something, but actually they want to sell you something because I have no commission to be earned. Commissions inherently create a clash of interest between you and the person earning the commission because for the person to earn a living, he or she has to sell you a product and then you have to buy it in order to support the person. But the product may not be the best and unfortunately, that is the limitation of a commission uh, model. Whereas if you pay someone a fee and the person has the best interest of you at heart, he or she can now give you the best advice because you have already paid him or her. And that is the beauty of fee-only advice. And while some people may think that fees are high and uh, in, uh, expensive, they actually have no idea how much commission they are paying when they buy subpar products with all the commissions hidden and embedded, but it still comes from the person paying for it. So fees are fair, transparent, Perhaps a bit too transparent because when you know of the fee, you actually uh, balk at it, but then you are happy to buy a product that has commission embedded. So it's just human psychology. But once you get past that, fees really are the best way to go when it comes to remunerating someone for their services, especially when it comes to financial advisory. Weibo has this insane deal where you get five free shares for free and all you have to do is just fund any amount, any amount at all, and you can walk away with five free shares. All you have to do is sign up with this link, fund it any amount, maintain it for 30 days, and you will get five free shares worth up to 500 USD. What's more, you also get a trading app that offers you zero commission, zero platform fee, zero settlement fee, and you can trade from as low as five US dollars per trade, and you also support this channel. So thank you for signing up, and thank you Weibo for sponsoring this video and bringing us this excellent, excellent deal. 
And after years and years of being in the FA industry and seeing what other people are doing, I think it's actually very, very refreshing to come into a company where they really take financial planning very seriously. They spend hours debating over things like uh, risk profiling and the types of instruments that we use, which I never really got elsewhere in the industry, except for one colleague I had way back when I first joined an IFA. And we were both very idealistic. We wanted to provide good financial planning for our clients. But unfortunately, the strength of two people were really you know, just very, very limited. And we did what we could. We were so idealistic that one day we went to a roadshow uh, where you know they sell insurance products, where insurance agents try to stop you and then they want to sell you something. Uh, we just couldn't stand the sight of such agents. And when I saw a guy uh, leaving his seat to go to the ATM to withdraw money to pay for that policy, my friend and I, back then, we actually went up to the person and we said, okay, give us 10 minutes, we explain whatever you have just bought. And after that 10 minutes, that guy was actually very, very thankful that we explained the product and the shortcomings as well as alternatives that he can pick. And it really felt very nice to help someone out, but we really couldn't do that because we weren't remunerated for it. And yeah, soon after that, my colleague actually couldn't uh, take the low pay and he dropped out about half a year later. And for the next three years, I was alone trying to do a one-man show of um, marketing my services, providing financial advisory, researching on the best solutions. And it just was not possible for a single person to do all this and earn only about $1,000 per month income. And so, yeah, I left the industry. After I joined Provident, I realized that I was just a person trying to do a one-man show of what Provident was doing on, as a firm. They have insurance specialists, investment specialists, entire solutions team to support the advisory staff. And as advisors, we also get the marketing department's help to bring in clients. And therefore, we don't actually need to go and find clients, research our own solutions, and we can focus on delivering our uh, solutions to our clients. And we are remunerated by salaries, and therefore, there's no commissions for us to chase. And I find that this is such a refreshing take on financial advisory that nobody else in the industry is uh, you know, interested in doing. And it's not hard to see why other people are not doing this because commission agents can actually earn hundreds of thousands, if not even a million over dollars per year selling high commission products. Whereas as a salary staff, you obviously will have a fixed salary and maybe a variable part, which is your performance bonus, but you can't really earn that much uh, like what a commission agent can be. But however, I feel that right ethics ideals and everything, we are very aligned here and I am very happy being a salary person, a uh, salary advisor delivering good and ethical solutions to my client and I feel like I finally found a home where it's sustainable to do so because instead of being at some place where sales commission is the number one thing and we are just selling savings plans, ILPs, or in an IFA where I was alone trying to sell ethical solutions but uh, earning very little commission and everyone else is still selling like a uh, very you know, high commission products and talking about how much sales they brought in the other month. I feel like I finally found a place where there are like-minded people striving towards the same thing. And uh, it is something that I really believe in that financial advisory should be ethical, uh, but it should also allow the advisor to earn a sustainable living. Otherwise, nobody will be advisors. Everybody will just sell ILPs and savings plan if the ethical way to do things does not earn the person a living wage. Anyway, Provident has been known to serve high net worth families and individuals over the years. And therefore, when I left my insurance agency, I didn't even think of approaching Provident to find a job because I thought they were, you know, very atas, they were very high end. Okay, but I realized that it's not because they only focus on high net worth individuals, but it's because of the nature of the business model, which uh, only high net worth individuals find it worthwhile to pay for financial advisory services because they, they can count and they realize that paying through commissions actually will incur them a lot more costs and also give them subpar advice. And therefore, they realize paying a fee is the way to go. But over the years, Provident has been getting a lot of requests for us to serve a younger generation of people who may not earn that much money, okay, but still require financial advice. And I'm actually hired to be part of this new department to serve this segment of customers. So if you are someone interested in such a service, just go to Provident and leave a contact. Okay? Again, no commission, so you don't have to come and contact me and say uh, you want financial advisory services. If you do require it and you want to ask for me, okay, drop Provident an email and yeah, we'll see how things go. Anyway, I've been with Provident for more than half a year now and I really find the place really very suitable to what I want to do 
as a financial advisor, as an ethical one. And I find the people there to be very nice. And the work culture is, is, is really impeccable. And yeah, they have things like work from anywhere, which lets me work from right here in Bali. So I can take uh, calls with my clients and colleagues. And I think they are really progressive company to work with and so if you're looking for a job okay again i'm not paid a referral for this okay but hit them up at provident i think they have a careers page so contact them and tell them uh, why you think you're suitable to join us and they might just call you up for an interview and i look forward to seeing more new colleagues working alongside with me in this company in the years to come anyway after being self-employed for my entire adult life i'm finally gainfully employed in my mid-30s and I find the 9 to 6 thing actually quite refreshing. I have no Monday blues, surprisingly. And I really look forward to meeting my colleagues, going out for lunch, and then knocking off at 6 and coming home. right? And I think I learned a lot on the job as well. And it is related to my YouTube channel and the website I'm making. And therefore, I find a lot of synergy between my own endeavors as well as what this company is trying to do. And yeah, I'm very, very happy to be an employee. There are a lot of perks. There's annual leave, there's medical leave. All right, we even get to claim for medical expenses, uh, claim for things that we want to learn, anything at all. And yeah, there's also bonus. And yeah, the list goes on and on. And as someone who has not received such perks before, yeah, being a full-time employee really is a remarkable thing, I feel. Right, I know exactly how much my pay is. I know exactly when it will come in in a particular month. So yeah, I really like being employed. Now, of course, it does come with some downsides, which is right now my Mondays to Fridays are entirely occupied by my day job. But as I mentioned, my company is progressive and I can work from anywhere. And I'm right here at Bali. And I did not use a single annual leave for this because my company allows us to work from anywhere. And I've applied and I'm here for a couple of weeks just to figure out uh, how things are overseas and whether I like this whole arrangement. And I can say I do quite like it. So I'm looking forward to doing more work from anywhere content in future in different countries and subscribe to my channel to watch more of such content. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer them. Also, I talk a lot about work, personal finance and even great deals. So subscribe to my Telegram group and my YouTube channel. And also tap this video to see my different income sources and this video which YouTube thinks that you really, really enjoy. And I'll see you in those videos.